Dear guests, you are most welcome to our newly renovated museum. I, as the manager of this humble building, would like to give you a warm greeting from the depth of the Armenian culture and heritage. I'll give you a briefing of the building itself. It was built, it was built originally as a, as a seminary for the Armenian priests, where later it was turned into an orphanage, an orphanage as a refuge for our young orphans who came for, during the Armenian genocide. And in 1969, they decided to make it a museum. The museum was a simple one, but it had a lot of things in it. But unfortunately, due to the difficulties, we had to close it down for a long period of time. Later, it was reopened as a, because of a, gener a generous uh, financial help from the Mardinians, with the support of the Armenian Patriarchate and the Patriarch. And we wish to continue so that people will know our culture and our heritage again and again. So now we will start, and you're most welcome again. Dear guests, dear priests, we are happy, we are glad to welcome you in our convent, and specifically in our museum here. Uh, as we are approaching to the Feast of Pentecost, uh, it's, uh, it's one of the most important events that happened after the resurrection of our Lord. So uh, it's worthy. It's worth to uh, contemplate or uh, share uh, uh, some of the thoughts. Uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, there are differences between uh, calendars that we celebrate here in Jerusalem. Uh, outside of Jerusalem, we celebrate the feasts according to a new calendar, uh, which is called Gregorian calendar, and uh, in Jerusalem only, because we, we have here a status quo situation, we celebrate according to old calendar, because everything is decided and we cannot change. Or if you want to change, uh, it will be a difficult process for us. Uh, the coming of uh, Holy Spirit uh, was the uh, act of salvation, or it was the conclusion of the act of salvation, uh, because our Lord, by His incarnation, united uh, the human nature and then cured in himself and then uh, fixed it uh, by his re resurrection and uh, by the coming of Holy Spirit we became the temple uh, temple of the Holy Trinity and uh, it is a, a big gift uh, to us because uh, humanity was uh, deprived of this gift when he sinned and um, God uh, took that gift of uh, having Holy Spirit. Uh, and then I want to add that uh, in the uh, tw uh, 12th century, uh, our Catholicos, the great patriarch, uh, made seven days uh, of celebr uh, the celebration of uh, the Pentecost. Before it was celebrated only one day, and now it's celebrated seven days uh, because seven days uh, symbolizes the uh, seven uh, uh, gifts uh, or the powers of the Holy Spirit that uh, He grants us in order uh, to make us strong to reject the sin to reject the delusion of sin, and then to support us, uh, to keep the purity that we get after rejecting the sin. I think uh, this is enough for this uh, evening, and all of you know 
about this, but because uh, uh, the chants are about these subjects, so uh, I felt that uh, I need to again uh, share uh, the Christian uh, message that is written here. Thank you. Hey everyone, before we sing, I would like to introduce a little bit about Armenian themes. You know that spiritual music is quite diverse in terms of genre and style. Spiritual music developed in Armenia throughout the 4th to 5th centuries. The establishment of Christianity as the state religion in 301 as well as the advent of writing in 405, led to the growth of spiritual singing. Psalms have been sung in, during services in the Armenian church since fourth century. Armenian priests, inspired by these psalms, composed Armenian hymns. Armenian Apostolic Church hymns are unlike any other church music. It is important to mention that our hymns are not impacted by Byzantine or Catholic Church songs. It have an entirely different tone, which you will see for yourself. Thank you. Yeah. 